Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 5th of October. The close of business tomorrow, I will be in the, well, I'll be at the airport just about ready to get in the air, so I won't be able to uh, provide a report. But as we can see, a little bit of weakness continuing. I mean, we've been in the short signal for quite some time now. Shakeout still hasn't been able to get uh, any strength above zero. In fact, now we're below the yellow line here with the histogram. So expressing a little bit uh, deeper weakness. And like I said, we were caught in between this um, gap here between the red DOC and the signing short. So uh, the difference between long-term buyers, shorts, and you're sort of stuck in between with the triggering signal of the orange. And uh, it's created that. And like I said, you know, um, expectations, you know, the jitters of the debate coming up. Uh, that's playing into it. There's the potential of the WikiLeaks uh, announcement, which uh, unfortunately we won't hear about until after. So that'll be an interesting one. Um, NQ held up better, and this is going to create a, another disparage uh, uh, divergence between the markets again, and uh, the Dow obviously still being weaker um, amongst all of them. In fact, not even uh, crossing over with the orange yes, just yet, has the potential to do so. This is no surprise. We talked about the cell that was in gold, and sure enough, nice continuation all the way down, and that was a beautiful one. Didn't get into the oversold, but we can see that there was just a continued breakdown. And the orange was right in between the range, and the broader that range is, and the more the orange stays at the green, the uglier it can get. And no surprise here, I've said this all along, there was just no justification for the value of TLT at that particular point, and oil holding up uh, fairly decent. Has a nice buy configuration coming in. It is what you can do, just follow those as they go. I mean, as bizarre as that one seems. And the euro, quite a ride. I mean, it broke all the way below the lows, uh, capturing all the way down to here. And we're in the 114 range, and then shot all the way back up to the 112. So this is a big move intraday. Um, quite dramatic. Now, the case chart, I had to put in the short. Signal. I've been following it on the 5K as well, but 21.58, and we are down to 21.43. We do see the orange has dipped below, so the potential is that if the steel dip back below, could get a uh, buy signal out of that. So here was the day from the short standpoint. We started it actually the previous day. Had a little bit of bump in between them, came down, popped up, brief moment that it was likely to transition there. We had the uh, conversion going through here, and then we had the um, site move below, but then we ended up with the DOC spread, turned it red, and then even though it still had some gyrations, but overall, um, the broader reading of it was still short. So um, that can be a little hairy when you start off with a nice short range and it goes below, and then you think it's going back up. It's like, oh, I missed it. No. It pretty much just uh, attacked the short algo, couldn't even stay above it for uh, more than two hours, and then you just continue to pass it a little lower. And then um, we ended up with a failed buy setups here where the uh, histogram dips below the yellow line right there, and then it's just a matter of waiting for that to turn around. Now, on the turnaround, usually when they miss, I prefer that it's above uh, the yellow is above orange, uh, not orange, but uh, the magenta, so it crosses above the magenta, and then you have the checkout rise. Uh, it just gives a little bit more of a confirmation on that one. You can see that uh, it did back below the red here a couple of times and put that in there a little bit late. Uh, it's pretty much flat from what that uh, configuration would be. So that was uh, quite some movement and not a surprise. As I said, there's going to be some rotation. If there's expectation changes, um, you're not going to see them in the polls. You're going to see them first here, and then all of a sudden they'll be reflected. And so one will... Uh, justify the other, not the other way around. Uh, the polls are going to be lagging to uh, the information that the power brokers have, and so you'll hear about it later. So, like I said, if the market's moving lower, then it's a surprise that uh, HRC is not doing as well, and if uh, the market moves higher, then it's um, an expectation of uh, status quo, and that's just generally the way things are set up at this particular point, just given what the probabilities were of me all most of the summer period uh, before we got into fall and then that brief change where things like plummeted really quick and then stabilized but now we're starting to see some more of that and this is exactly what we expected coming into this 
Now, we would expect to see some uh, fund money coming in uh, any time now. So that will also play in a factor. If you get weakness within that, then you know that you've got significant selling um, because they're going to take advantage of that increased supply. Uh, we'll be arriving in Rome oh, Thursday mid-time. So it's just a question of... Um, and then I have a train that I'm taking that takes us to Salerno. We're meeting with the family down in the Amalfi Coast. So as soon as I'm able to get internet all set up, then um, you'll be hearing from me. So as always, though, continue to look for me on the Skype chat. It uh, won't be tomorrow, but uh, after that. And um, we'll keep you updated. Um, but feel free, as members, to go ahead and post uh, your charts that uh, look just like this on the Skype chat. And that way others can stay abreast of them if they're not uh, following as well either. As always, trade well. We'll talk to you later.